Let's try a tricky volume question. A cylinder that has a diameter of 80 centimeters, so here the cylinder has a diameter of 80 centimeters, is partially filled with water. There's the water. A ball with a diameter of 10 centimeters, here it is, is dropped into the water. And it is completely submerged. It's underneath the water. How much does the water level go up by? So the key here is to recognize that when you put things in the water, the water level rises. Imagine jumping into a bathtub. The water level rises. Now the question is how much? How much does this water level rise? So let me just sketch a picture here and, and perhaps you'll see exactly what's going on. So the key idea here is that this water level will rise as much as the volume of the ball is. So the bigger the volume of the ball is, the more it will rise. So what we have here is an imaginary, imaginary cylinder. So this here is a cylinder and it will rise by a little bit. So here what we have is we have the volume of this hollow cylinder this one here is equals to the volume of the submerged ball exactly so meditate on this line here whatever you put into the water that's going to make this volume the same so the volume of the cylinder and the volume of the cylinder formula is going to be the pi r squared, that's the area of the top, times the height, is equals to the volume of this ball. So you should access your volume formula for a sphere. It's 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Now the tricky part here is we're dealing with different radiuses. This is the radius of the cylinder, whereas this radius is the radius of the ball. Please don't confuse these different r variables. So we have pi r squared h, and that's what we're trying to solve. We're trying to solve for h. This here is a variable h. So this radius of the cylinder is going to be half of 80, which is 40. So the common mistake is to just plug in 80, but it's actually half of that. The radius here is going to be from the center to here. This is the, the radius of this cylinder is equals to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And the r here is the radius of this ball, which happens to be 5. So the rest is just algebra. So what we have here is Sixteen hundred pi h is equals to five hundred over three pi, and so divide both sides by sixteen hundred pi. We get h is equals to five hundred pi over three, all divided by sixteen hundred pi which by the way is the same thing as 500 pi over 3 times 1 over 1600 pi so we can continue simplifying using our cross cross uh, crossing out here you can cross out the uh, the pi here you can also cross out to divide diagonally here by a hundred so we end up losing these two zeros and so we can multiply across now five times one is equals to five and three times sixteen is equals to forty eight and so this here is your exact answer alternatively you could have used your calculator to calculate this as a decimal and the answer we get is approximately 
four. We're talking about centimeters. So what makes this question a bit tricky is the idea of using some algebra, dividing and just refreshing your your fraction simplifications and just as you have to be comfortable with your calculator to do to deal with this many different numbers. And also conceptually you need to memorize and understand that whatever you put in makes the water rise and this hollow imaginary cylinder here is going to be it's going to have an equivalent volume so whatever you put in and what you get whatever this shape is they're going to have equal volumes now it doesn't have to be a sphere it can be any object whatever you put in that total volume is going to be equivalent to whatever uh, you're going to create here this raised volume here